let's see this problem hill sequence from november challenge 2021 in this problem we are given n integers in an array and we have to rearrange them to form a good sequence so a good sequence is one if it is only strictly increasing or it is strictly decreasing or first it is strictly increasing and then it is strictly decreasing only and in all of those arrangements we have to find the lexicographically largest one so it should be the largest sequence that is formed let's take a look at these examples to understand the problem in the first example we are given three integers two three and five to make it a good sequence we need to make it increasing decreasing or it should form a hill that is first increasing and then should it should decrease so in order to make it the largest one we can print these in descending order 5 3 and 2 so this is a good sequence now let's move on to the second example that is 5 5 7 2 1 and 2 in this example 2 is repeating so we cannot print the sequence in a decreasing manner because 2 and 2 will come together and it will violate the strictly decreasing principle so we need to make a hill over here let's try to make a hill first it should increase and then decrease so 1 2 5 7 and 2 this part is strictly increasing and then this part is strictly decreasing but over here this is not a good sequence because because sorry this is a good sequence but it is not the largest sequence that we can form out of these numbers the largest sequence that we can form from these numbers is if we put the repeating integers on the increasing side and all the remaining on the decreasing side then it should form the largest sequence that is good so repeating integer is 2 just 2 and then now we go on to the decreasing side 5 2 7 5 2 and 1 so this is the largest possible good sequence out of these numbers let's move on to the third example 10 is repeating over here let's try to make a hill and the largest one so the repeating integers are 10 only 10 and now largest one is 15 then 11 then 10 8 7 2 and 1 in this array one of the 10 is still pending but we cannot put it on the left side or the right side because it will still violate the rule of strictly increasing and then strictly decreasing so we cannot form a good sequence out of these integers that are given in example 3. Now let's take a look at the code. First of all we have test cases so we take the variable t. we run a loop for each test case and in each test case we take an integer n n is the size of our array let's take a vector and name it v and give it the appropriate size that is n we run a loop in 
input all the integers and then we sort the vector now we have a sorted array and we have to print first the strictly increasing sequence and then the strictly decreasing sequence so we take two more vectors let's name it inc for increasing and another vector let's name it dec for decreasing now let's traverse through our sorted array so d is the variable value that we are currently on and we actually need to push all the integers in the DEC side and only the repeating integers on the INC side and if there are more than two that is an integer is there in DEC and INC and there is one more so it is not possible to make it a good sequence as you can remember from example 3 that we discussed so we just check it over here if T If inc dot back back is the last element that we pushed in the inc array. If inc dot back is equal to equal to d, not possible to make a good sequence. Now let's take a variable boolean variable that stores whether it is possible to print a good sequence or not and initialize it to 1 considering that it is possible so in this case we just may need to make pos is equal to 0 or pos is equal to false whatever else if dec dot pack is equal to equal to d that is d is present in the decreasing array we need to push it in the increasing one so inc dot push back d else dec dot push back d so if it is not there in dec we push it to dec And before that, we also need to check whether there is some element in these vectors or not. And one more case that we need to handle over here is that when the largest element that is present in DEC and INC are equal that means that we have a peak element that is equal so that also violates the good sequence principle so we need to take care of that as well so if DEC dot back is equal to equal to INC dot back
we need to make p y s is equal to zero. That is, it is not possible to make a good sequence. So we also need to check i n c dot size, and not need no need to check d c dot size because there are at least one element in the input array. Now what we need to take, what we need to print is only the put sequence. So if possible, we print out the increasing sequence. C out D. Followed by the decreasing se sequence. So actually, that decreasing sequence is already also stored in increasing manner. We need to traverse it in the reverse manner. So i is greater than equal to zero. I minus minus. C out D E C I and space and an end L else that is when it's not possible we print out minus one C out minus one and L. That is the code for this problem. Let's try to submit the code. And one more thing, we have not included the sorting library, so maybe we can just include the bigger library that's bits slash stdc plus plus dot h. Let's try to submit our code. and the solution got accepted thanks for watching